Hey guys, welcome back to the content that you're about to watch. Today, we're looking at some of the most awkward moments during a job interview. Wow, it's a really, really so awkward. There are some things that they want you to ask questions. This is just not a normal questions to ask. Some interviews here, they're just sitting down and you're the candidate. And they'll just ask you some questions and then you just give them some of the answers to these interviews or the managers. Hopefully they will look at the answers and they'll find out if you got the job or somewhere along the lines of that one. Yeah, so this is how some of the awkward they have posted on Twitter and Something makes it feel more uncomfortable answering some questions during the interview. So, all right, let's get just right down to it and see how it turns out, how awkward can it be. Okay, let's do this. I interviewed for it for an IT job at a law firm. Why law firms? He asked. Part of my answer was interesting clients. Like T Bone picking a client here. That's cool. He said it. That's confidential. I couldn't resist. You should probably take it off your website then. Oh my gosh. All right, let's read what it says. An interviewer asked Bob why he was particularly interested in working at a law firm. So asking why a law firm? Okay. If I this firm had interesting clients, like business magnate, picking out the name. And an interview freaked out and told him that everyone was confidential. And this guy was obviously trying to make Bob feel dumb, but it didn't work. To Shay Bob, to Shay, what if he got Yeah, you should never ask, ask, ask me why law firms? Why do you want to work for law firms? And then you just give it out the answer about how he liked law firm and also research. Research about the company first before anything else for doing this interview. Yep, this, this happened. And the way that he answered this one, very confidential and calling out a name. And how did this client know about this person? Yeah, that. But it's my it's confidential because you don't want to know about this client. Well, how did this client know? Have you researched this client before? That might be a, a thing. I'm not sure if he got a job, but yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think he'll get the job. Audition. A character was an Irishman from Ireland. I'm an Irishman from Ireland. Do Maureen got asked to do it again, but drop the accent. Sounds fake. You want me to do an American accent? No. No accent. Didn't argue. Did an American accent. Did not get rolled. Then I think this person, this people who do this audition here, might sound so dumb. You can't Americanize an Irishman from Ireland because that's not even that. You have to be very appropriate because if that person was an Irishman from Ireland, I mean, that definitely matches the character. So, hell, he could be himself. But being that character, he'll have to go a little different. Hmm. Okay, let me read this, what it says. This interview story is so ridiculous because, unfortunately, it is. this person as an expiring actor and has spent a lot of time going in for it. His worst audition experience totally discredited their identity in the most ridiculous way. Okay. But it turned out to be wrong. What does no accent? This guy obviously didn't know what they meant by no accent, since literally everybody has an accent. And it's to do with an American accent. And well, it's a loss. They wanted to do an American accent of being an Irishman for Ireland to an American accent. Does that make sense? But when I hear this character and have it and being an Irish man being an Irish and saying an American accent that's that, that doesn't seem right. I would not watch this movie, I would not watch this play 
when I have when I hear an Irishman doing an American accent. Because if the character was an Irishman from Ireland, had to be in that particular accent. But if that but if that person's actually an Irishman, an Irishman from Ireland, then that should match. And he could be like himself, right? But in character, but character wise, this person doesn't even know what by saying no accent. What do you mean no accent? I mean, he has an Irish accent, okay? Don't take away his accent, being an American accent. No, that, hmm. I think you might be reading the character. Not by watch that movie and see the Irishman doing an American accent, not an Irish accent. No, what? I will not watch that movie. I'll give that one a one star if I want to. Ridiculous. Interview at a finance firm when I was around 23. Interviewer said, it's kind of a boys club here. Are you like sensitive if people make like jokes and comments that are maybe sort of sexist towards? Okay, this question, this is one of the questions that is very, very inappropriate. It is very inappropriate when someone asking this question because this has nothing to do with the job that you're applying for or the, or the position that you're applying for. There's nothing to do. Office culture is very necessary for this one. Yeah, definitely, definitely. There. Well, I'm glad Tori gets sorted out and saying that boys club and such because this, that job right there is all boys club that that doesn't get anything but it because tori here there's a woman right here and being sexist and if you saw her and if she saw everything that all the boys seen done the men in an interview with just a woman right here and they'll probably gonna talk stuff about the girls and whatnot and everything yeah that's not that would be like no that's not the job for, there's been no room for sexes or anything that jokes around sexism. No, that's not the job you want. Get out of there. You don't want to apply for it. And if you see the interview and see all that, turn around. Don't schedule them again. Because I don't think you're going to have to move on from this one. Sex is never ever to make fun of, and especially sexual harassment. That happens all the time. Never set foot on that job. Even if you apply for it, don't. Don't go for an interview with it. <sighs> I was once asked less things he could do with a break for the next five minutes. Okay. Since one to do the list as many things as possible for every time with a break. For five, that's a lot of time to have for a break. Unless, unless you're specifically going for a brick company, then that might be appropriate. We have no, they have no idea how this question will be relevant. How is this brick thing related to the job that she was for? So how many things she's ever think of, think of and on the fly? If she, and if she got a job offer, okay. Well, this question seems super random. Maybe the interview was trying to get a sense of, it's not every day we get an honor being asked. This a fun brick related activities. I mean, this question can be something. Unless you're working for a brick company, this might be an appropriate question. Yeah, this can be a appropriate question for a brick company. And you're just thinking something outside the box, you literally think stuff through. And this is more of a critical, this is more of a critical thinking, not creative, uh, creative thinking. You have so many ideas on what you're going to do with a brick. And if I ask that question, but I don't think for my job I'm looking for, this is not related to what I have. But for a great much, there are so many right away different. I don't think that might be appropriate for the job that I was applying for. So that was very unexpected. If you see something that's unexpected, relax and just answer. I was applying for a teaching job. My job at the time was at the school for people with disabilities. And this new school was a school for children gifted in a particular field. 
I was headhunted when one of my students from my current school was accepted to the new school. The woman interviewed and asked why I wanted to work there. So I explained the above, including the student with disability, with the most disgusted look on her face. She said, we don't have students like that here. I should point out that I'm also disabled. This was not going to work out, obviously. And I don't think this interview is going to go end well, no. When she said that one and was just a look in the face, I don't have students like that there. But what if they are? What if they have disability? That was that was definitely rude. If someone asks you, it's like something, something rude. About them, make them feel like make them feel like they're wrong. Say that feel wrong. Or if this is a very inappropriate thing that has nothing to do, and if you comment. That's something that doesn't that doesn't definitely fit in that thing. No. The fact that someone has there has gone to the effort of finding you specifically continues an unparalleled film. This school wasn't ready to embrace those that are different from them. Because they are literally different from each other. And when this woman thought that, yeah, I don't think students have that disability there. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna last long. Without disability and stuff, you will have the same old school as everybody else's, just being bad and all twelve. But I'm not. I'm not gonna go onto that. All right. I once had an interview at <laughs> MK store when I asked about compensation. The woman said, "I don't know what that word means. Do you even know what a compensation is? Have you or have you?" ever read the dictionary and where were the competitions it's a money she asked you about the money and if you don't have an answer you have don't know what means what i mean what are some comp what are some more conversations for us if i do this job or if there's any well some of us all seem desirable no matter okay there's no denying the temptation that comes with certain jobs yeah i mean what offer do they want to what offer do they want to give me? And I will give them the offer, whatever one. And this is what I want, and this is what I want to get. But I don't want to disclose the money they get. If I can disclose with a, whatever the specific amount of money there, hmm, I seem to think that it might be higher or it might be lower. Because they want, like, the salary has to be, like, exact that you expected like this or maybe higher than what they have be cool to working on that store but then how in today's and age there are still companies out there that are training their workers like this yeah if they if they're given their benefits like compensation or whatnot then it's not cool it's really not cool when when they have some benefits are there any benefits for this company or for this job that I apply to. And if they don't know what compensation is, then they shouldn't be working at all. They should not do this interview. As a jobless 24 year old in 2008, that we had to move back home. They had to move back home and had tattoos and piercings. I had to cover up and take out the metal. I went on one interview and that was at a business professional type of place. And everything seemed to be going well. Three interviews in, everything was still smooth. When the old woman asked if I had any tattoos or piercings, I thought that was pretty personal. And while I was vague with my answers, I told her that yes, I had some piercings done, but took them out. She actually stood up and asked me to stand up and got right into my face. I did have a scar from a lip ring and several nose rings. And she was looking at me so mean at that point that I told her I felt uncomfortable. She said, well, for the scars, we won't hire you. Okay, bye. I got a job a week later anyway, but dang, that was really hard. And that company ended up shutting down fire. Years later. So, yep. Yeah, company ended up shutting down fire years later. So good. Good. You ever talk stuff about them and give them something that's very personal? If they, remember, this is one of the questions they ask you. If it's very personal, right? don't ask them. Do not answer them or say it's none of your business or this question has nothing to do with the job that I'm applying for. 
No, this has nothing to do. It's so inappropriate. They don't want to answer that. And they don't tell us what to and what not to mark our bodies for that. No, it was very unacceptable. And I'm glad that company shut down. I'm glad. I mean, that was very appropriate to be a candidate for the job. I'm also being a candidate. And I told question about it. Remember, I don't have tattoos. I don't have piercings. None of it. I never had them in my life. But if I have those, my mother will be mad at me. So I'm glad. So, I'm glad. so this woman is, is not very, very inappropriate. It was so rude that they literally have to do this question. Asking this question and saying, hmm, I don't think this is, I don't think they're going to hire you because of that. All right, well, bye then. Your company is going to go to hell. Yes, I said it. And I said it. Didn't quite get as far as an interview, but one time I emailed my CV to a cafe for a waitress job. An employer replied back with, replied back with a link to a website titled How to Write a CV. So not only, not only did I get an interview, but he burned the frick out of me. This constructive feedback and say, How to write a freaking CV? Boy, you write, you wrote a CV to you. What does this have anything to do with this CV that they gave you? You are literally asking to a local cafe and how you might must be interested. Felt compelled to share some constructive feedback. And guess what? And don't give her the little email on how to write CV because that's not. No greeting, no constructive criticism. Mm. If you don't have, you don't have to write a constructive feedback to this person. Yeah, that's no way. Don't even, don't even tell them to. Here's the link. How to write the CV. No, that's not. That's not uh, appropriate out of you when you doing this one. Because if, if you have a candidate with you and they send you a CV or a resume. They will probably go and see it, and then they'll check if this one's gonna match. Don't give them a link like that. Even this trusty was rough. He could have presented the feedback in a less vicious way. Yeah, give them a little feedback. At least give them the feedback, and not dropping the web website and stuff. Because that's no. Hopefully, her job just might be a little successful with that burn. Because that burn is never gonna have to be seen again. So at least give them a little feedback and how to improve and stuff and not just give them a link of how to write CV. No, that's not constructive criticism. You just did something that's stupid. That's why nobody hired in that job. I'm sorry. All right, for an internship at the NJ New Jersey Attorney General's office, they asked me what I thought about Constitution, and I heard prostitution answered it the way instead twice. Oh my goodness! Constitution, prostitution. I mean, it's very awkward to ask a person to repeat the question. You have to ask a person to repeat the question because this ears they could, we can understand you, but if I don't understand what you're asking. I would tell them, can you read the question? Because I don't understand what you're saying. Because the two words, constitution, prostitution, those two things are a little different there. Just don't be very awkward when you ask a question. You have to, you have to ask again the question because we don't understand it. Oh, that's a definite mistake for her. What made her real estate was it bad? <laughs> that one there. Yikes, yeah, that's yikes. If you can ask him for ownership and then heard about the constitution, the US Constitution, not Constitution. Yep, she confuses the two words. No, misunderstand misunderstanding the question is a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. And you have to ask them through the question because the interview lowered the voice for the question. Uh, there's a, a slight noise that I cannot even hear the question. And I told him to repeat the question because I don't understand what you're saying. Okay. Went in 
two interviews for one job. When I got there, they told me I was actually interviewing for the office manager position because the previous one has just passed away. Oh, they asked me how I could be a motherly figure to the office. I told them I was only 21 and not ready for kids. What she was applying, be careful or what you're applying for because they have no idea what you're going to end up with. If you're applying for this position, they'll, you're probably going to end up with a different position. But that's not the position that you're going for. Office manager, want to become like a worker and they actually totally become an office manager? No, you can't jump, you can't jump ship with that. But yeah, that's that's a, there are certain unspoken roles in any office that are assigned to people who voluntarily. Yeah, this is like a garden, this is like a garden path. A garden path is basically about the asking you, they will offer you from a different position, but you actually really want the position that you're applying for. And they're gonna make you think that you're applying for this job, for this position, and not the position that you're applying for. Yeah. I signed the person role in office during the job interview. Even got a job is weird. That no. You didn't you didn't even do the interview about that position because I don't know pretty much about anything. And if you hired me without doing this interview, I would not know what to do and you would regret it. Hiring me, because that's a, a trouble. You're getting yourself in trouble. Okay, I got a softball question and fumbled so badly. I was rambling on incoherently. I said I need to stop, so I said, fully successful, completely out of context, and just stare at the interviewer who was very well rooted. And if you're fumbling, if you can usually if an interview went well or poorly. So if you had the right answers or they wanted to hear, but this person for fumbling during the interview, trying to come on with grace, you would have said, fully successful. I would like to hear this story from the point of view of the interview. That's all. Sorry. Not the rumbling incoherently and couldn't think anything something smart. I usually do that and I somehow was fumbling some stuff and try to get the words coming out of it. And then I do this, I just nod my head out and then I use my hand I use my hand gestures to tell them that I look myself and I look people in the eyes. I literally put, look people in the eyes. And if I send up a link and I do this, I use my hand just, just like this. And somehow that little fumble to it. And you just have to say something very cohesively or clearly so that you can definitely say what you want to say, what answers you want to say. You don't have to think about all the question, strategize the answers that you can get today. It's very helpful for you to, you know, answer some stuff, you know. But then fumble it, it happens. It's going to try to, because uh, the interview might be your indicator if you had the right answers, or you might have a job, or they're the indicator. Egotistical startup guy, midway through, he tosses his hair and says, go ahead. I know you want to ask. I stare blankly. He says, 37, yep. I built all this and I'm only 37. I don't know how I was expected to reply, but I would thought the software was a terrible idea. Mm -hmm -hmm. You can go off the rails because the interviewer, not interviewee. This person was interviewing a startup company and to be interviewed by the CEO. So I wasn't really interested in interviewing him. Also, I was there to talk about himself. My guy, if you're the CEO, you don't have to talk about yourself. Never, ever, ever, ever do that. The poor swords I was completely caught off guard on did not have anything else. This is one of the people who are not doing participating in this interview. On on how uh, brag and stuff. Yeah. So we were saying this coming this product was less than stellar. <laughs> it is. Listen, I don't this CEO just little babbling about oh how successful it is. Hopefully, hopefully the software can go as nowhere as it can be because that sucks. And only he literally talks about a lot 
the stuff uh, in brags about like, oh, I'm really successful. I built all of this and I'm 37. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, the software is not really good. What you made, right? What you made in that one for this software? Not gonna go anywhere. Okay. Interviewing for a kindergarten teacher position. And said, saying, I tweak instruction to fit my students. I said, I twerk for my students. Still got the job. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. You meant to say tweak and not saying twerk. Yeah, a lot of people can just either misspeak or just jumbling the words. It happens. It happens. I mean, people are getting nervous when they started to mistake or blub the words out or throwing some, <laughs> I don't know, fraud slip, fraudulent blub, fraudulent slip. I don't know what to call it, but then using some this wrong word. Instead of saying using tweak, tweaking, the team says, I, <laughs> she, to work from the but. She doesn't have to, you know, she does have to, well, well, she's not, well, she's not humiliated from, you know, this question, well, we're fumbling the words, but still, she got the job, well, at least she got the job, thank gosh, and tweak and twerk, a little different there, but just fumbling words is a very nervous thing, but hey, I mean, just goes to show it in a sense of humor and not being too hard with it will definitely be off. I mean, I do have a little sense of humor. I might have to do so that that's a little bit of funny so I can give them a little laugh or something. <laughs> those lines. And I have that kind of passion to do those things. So this friend, this is really amazing that she got the job. Even if she mumbling or, or jumbling the word or loved sentences, Still get the job either way. That's great. Okay, next one. I was applying for an editorial assist assistant job in which part of my duties will be managing the executive editor's calendar. Okay, I showed up for this interview a whole week early because I was just so excited. I got my tapes mixed up. <laughs> oh, you have a little nervous there managing some calendar and not realizing you did an interview a week early and you got your dates mixed up. Well, you have to make sure what date you're doing, not becoming, not doing early. Or in that day early, a whole week early. I mean, she really wants the job, but save it, save it for the time. Don't wait for a week and say, oh, I'm gonna do this interview. Do that one as a practice. You can just go to the to the place where you're gonna do an interview and then go and then go back home. So that you'll know where you're at, okay? Okay, when you interview for a position, they want to know your part for the job. And it's part of the necessary so we'll be managing the calendar for an assistant job. And we'll let our nerves get inside and get the best of us. So nerves and excitements, just a little bit a sign that you did a little push it. So yeah, she was excited for this little job interview and show up a little week, a week early. Yeah, she messed up the uh we find her assistant actually if she's nice and brush. Yeah. I mean she really wants the job. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she really, she really, really, really wants the job. And she showed up a week early for their for her interview session. Do that on the day of interview. This was that one. A week early is supposed to be a practice. So I'm not sure the interview might be an awkward thing or not. I'm not sure if you get a job. I mean, you really want to get a job, but do it on the day of the interview. Okay? Do it on the day of the interview. All right. Last one. Last one, last one. Once had a six-hour deep drive interview, deep dive interview. In which to walk through everything on my resume and then keep going back to my uni experience. As we were walking through each class, it took like 25 years ago. No water, no breaks. It felt like a criminal interrogation. Okay, interview wasn't supposed to be like, like 
over an hour to no no you can this edit can be done in about 15 minutes or maybe two hours 15 minutes is the least time you can do in there and at most is two hours i mean if it's usually the longer they are the longer that you have been doing this interview might be a little good sign might not so we'll see how this one can go that yeah now this interview went over the entire resume yeah don't go and interview with this interviewer just want to walk you through the entirety of that resume because for us here we don't want to walk we don't want to walk over the resume don't talk about the resume that we are doing. don't focus on that focus on what you're doing what the job want to has something to do with the position. The college here 25 years ago? Come on. Who is going to remember this and how is it going to relate? How is it related to this, this interview? Can't just walk through an interview. As an interviewer, I mean, for the interviewer like this, never do that. Because I want something like, I mean, this person just wanted to read everything about me. That sucks. That's that's no way you can do that. Absolutely not. Okay, well, that's it, guys, for this bit. Okay, hold on. I, I'm just I gotta write something down because I think I'm missing here. Bonus time. So we have five more things to react, so we are gonna go jump back in and get this thing out of the way. All right, next one. I don't know if this counts because I was interviewer. Oh, you were the interview. But the person I interviewed said, there's more than one way to skin a cat that went on to describe the various ways that this could actually be done. Really weird question. If someone asked you this kind of question and they say this, hmm, hmm. This candidate would not be the one that's going to hire All right. This, this person shared one of the weirdest things for someone for a job. I'm sure what question to ask, but the person who responded this one, there's more than one way to skin a cat. This is really weird. Mm -hmm. And because they described some lots of literally, and it's a red, that's a red flag. This person was able to get out of interview without seeing totally this weird did not get the job. I'm luckily, I'm glad this weird though, this weird candidate here and saying this sentence right here. Yeah, that person's not getting the job. That's a red flag. You never ever do that. Don't comment anything else because this is you can you you can only say something if you answer some question or close the interview and then ask for the job with anything anything but this is a no-go i'm sorry yeah i'm glad that this candidate here doesn't describe because he said something that's not appropriate you'll he'll he'll have low chances of getting the job like this when someone said that no i was too excited of college and doing a landline phone interview at my parents house where i was living five minutes in five minutes in my mom picked up started dialing that was joking. When I said I was doing an interview, I started guessing which friend I was on the phone with. A landline phone interview? Oh, God. This is like very old. And she started to make the call because she's embarrassing, got the crud out of him. My mom tends to do it. this little phone interview, was still living in the house with four parents and using a landline. That was really old, though. And then his mom accidentally picked up the phone. Started down that number to make the call, and that interrupts the landline. If you're using a landline to make a call, anyone else in the house could pick up the phone and listen into the conversation. I said, I hang the phone, he was having an adjective, she made things a little worse. Oh my goodness, your mom made it a little worse because he was supposed to do an interview. Rookie mistake, mother. That's a rookie mistake. He was doing this interview on the landline phone. That was really, really, oh my God. If you, if someone 
That's it because someone's talking right now, and if you pick up the phone, you're gonna hear in the conversation. No, no, that is a no. That's a no. -no. I got asked, don't turn, but what is the color of the wall behind you? I answered, and he asked, I, I knew. So I said, sat on the way in. And he angrily muttered, you're supposed to say all four are the same. And then didn't ask another question for five minutes and said, thanks, we'll be in touch. Okay. That, again, another question that is not appropriate from what she was applying. No, 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 no. Well, that's not a problem that he did. This is she. You asked this weird interview question. I was not sure. As in the call, the wall. This should answer correctly, but that's not answer I'm looking for. Interview wanted to get the question wrong. On him to get the question wrong. So what kind of question is this and how does it work? I, exactly, exactly. How's this wall of the color of the wall has something to do with the job or the position that he applied for that doesn't seem appropriate that doesn't seem right and it's not necessary okay i don't think that question the color the wall is not necessary and it has nothing to do with the job at all yep i've seen a lot of questions like this and it's so awful really awful okay i once interviewed to be an ad writer for a furniture company I know next to nothing about furniture. Hmm. A woman walked into the room and asked me what a sham was. I said, um, some kind of blanket? She shook her head and left. That was it. That was the interview. If you don't, I mean, become an ad writer for a firm, it's just basically ad, right? Be a marketing writer for a furniture company or a store, especially a certain field. You're expected to have a base knowledge of that field. He knows about the writing and not the furniture. He can't be expected to know every single thing about furniture. No, he doesn't. And the weirdest part that is expected is to know what a sham is. Is that was her only question. He answered this when he doesn't know what it is, and then that's it. That's really I mean, yeah, that's really call for asking you what is a sham. The, doesn't have you don't she does not have him he doesn't have to know about the furniture he's into writing stuff this furniture thing has nothing to do with a marketing writer no that was not no 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 you don't to know everything about the furniture he doesn't know crap about the furniture and if someone's going to hire them and write down oh this Couch is blah blah yada yada yada. No, and that's not no. I don't think this. I don't think the ad is gonna go well. No one's gonna buy your dang furniture because he doesn't know about the furniture. It's so he's supposed to. He's a writer and not he wants to do an ad writer for a furniture. You don't have to know everything about the furniture. None. He writes stuff and not knowing about the furniture. So that's the rudest thing, and I don't think I would apply for this one. During the interview, I was asked, what do you think is your greatest weakness? That is a question that offends a lot. Kryptonite. <laughs> they didn't crack the smile. Sarah and Provost need an interview. What? That's the end. Yep. If an interview is even even cracked. We get the job and this can be serious, but can we even get a little laughter or something that can be a little funny, just a little bit? And this interview didn't crack the smile. That tells me this work environment is a little off. The work environment on what, what he's applying for seems a little off. A little off. Not, if you don't even get the joke at all, then I don't think this job is going to work for you. Uh, this job is not, I don't think this job is going to work for you. Even if someone asks you, say, what's your greatest, this, the question, what's your greatest, wait, what, this question asks you, what is your greatest weakness? This is one of the questions that's very common. And when this little response and say, kryptonite, 
that mean that's a I mean they have to add just a little bit of a joke on it because an interview is supposed to be like a very serious thing to talk about. But if I can make a little bit of a funny and just be nervous and do that, that's why they're that's why they laugh. Why they can get a little bit of laughter. Just a, a little bit of laughter. That tells me saying, hmm, I think these guys are really constant. I think they're off something. But this basic and boring interview and not giving them a joke and have no sense of humor. Yeah, I don't think this job's gonna be for you if the interview doesn't get the joke. Screw that job. Okay, that is the end of the bonus and looks like uh, we're done with the video. Awesome. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video and probably see you next time with some more stuff. And there's a lot of awkward stuff there. And if they ask you some weirdest question or something that is not appropriate for this job, don't answer them or say, that question has nothing to do with the job that I am applying for, that you are applying for. Okay? All right. Goodbye.